Why I left a perfectly fine relationship. You f***ing whore. You were probably cheating on him the entire time. What? You found a new man. You found a new man, didn't you? Just say you found a new man. Just say it. Just say it, whore. Yeah, Reels is wild and they also don't know how to f read before they speak. Not every relationship is perfect, especially ones that you see on your For You page and you think, wow, they really have their sh** together. They love each other so much. I bet they have no issues. I bet they have no issues whatsoever when in fact, that's not the case whatsoever. A lot of that content is heavily curated for likes and these couples tend to have a lot more issues than the general relationship. Leaving a perfectly fine relationship is a lot more nuanced than people think it is. Unfortunately, with relationships, they're not so black and white. For example, when I was a teen, I found it quite difficult to break it off with a person who's presented abusive behaviors. And to them, it was like, one day I just left. This is so insane. How could this have possibly gotten to this point? How could this have possibly happened? But for me, it was a mountain of time of coming up with ways to cause the least amount of pain to the person who was causing me endless amounts of pain. It is actually quite concerning how terrible the comments were under this reel of somebody expressing how they weren't listening to their intuition, not just about the relationship, but why they suddenly left a perfect relationship. I mean, it's gotta be a pretty bad reason. My mind kept me there to keep me safe. I had this realization yesterday as I was talking to my dad about what alignment means. I randomly said to him, it's where your mind, your body, and your spirit are all on track with each other, where your intuition is telling you what's right for you. Your thoughts aren't fighting it, but listening intently and where your actions act accordingly all together. The amount of years in my life I've spent fighting with my intuition, not listening to my body because my mind wasn't willing to feel what was coming up for me to release is uncanny. For a while in my relationship, I knew it wasn't right. My intuition let me know pretty soon in the relationship, but my mind wouldn't listen. My mind told me I wasn't safe and that no one would love me as much as he did. At times, my body started telling me as well that things weren't right and giving me warning signs that if I continue on, I wouldn't be truly happy. My mind kept me there to keep me safe and comfortable because things were great. But when I went to Bali, I healed what I needed to see more clearly. You could say that this chick went over to Bali, she met somebody new, and that is the exact reason why she chose to break off the relationship. When I think it's not like that, at all. I know that there are a lot of people out there who have relationship anxiety, relationship insecurities, where they think that they're gonna be cheated on constantly. That's all they're thinking about. And it sucks because it comes from a deep rooted insecurity of everyone just constantly leaves me. So what gives them any reason to stay? And then I had to work on a lot of my insecurities, my self-doubt, this incredible self-loathing that, you know, I still feel till this very day, but it's also not healthy to be thinking 24 seven that your partner is out there cheating on you. It sounds like this person had time to themselves to really reflect on what was happening, not only within themselves, but what is going on in life. I, to be quite honest, think it's reasonable and you are well within your right to break it off with somebody because you find out, hey, this is just not what I want. There are things that are happening in this relationship where I feel as though they are non-fixable. This person, isn't who I thought they were at the beginning. Everything is fine, but it doesn't mean that it's great. It doesn't mean that you're going to be happy. Just because everything is fine doesn't really mean anything, if anything. And you know what? I'd be doing myself a disservice if I was to stay. Everyone preaches about how you should love yourself and you should take care of yourself. But once people actually do those very things to take care of themselves, to love themselves. It's just accusation after accusation. Oh, well, you went to Bali and you must have met another guy. But 
if that was the case, it is the right thing to break up with the person you are in a relationship with. Because there are circumstances, whether anyone likes it or not, that people are with somebody and they meet somebody new. They're like, okay, I really wanna be with this person. I imagine myself being with this person. Gross, but at the same time, it is an unfortunate reality for some people. However, it's scummy and disgusting to stay in a relationship with somebody that you are going to cheat on, that you have cheated on, or on the opposite side of the coin, you don't feel the same way for them as they feel for you. And <laughs> get out of that relationship. It's not fair on you, but it's also not fair for the person that you're in the relationship with. It's simple, girl. You had what's called relationship anxiety. It's natural. When you leave the relationship, it'll go away because what's relationship anxiety without a relationship, right? But think again. You didn't address the issue. You just put a band-aid. The next time you get into a relationship, you'll again be facing the same issue issue. Now, you just wanted to travel the world, so you came to Bali, seeing an influencer, broke up, did maybe some something that I will butcher if I pronounce it, and now you coach people. Do you even realize how much effed up this is? Yeah, but it's a lot more nuanced than just relationship anxiety. I mean, to a degree, most people have relationship anxiety in one way or another. You may have anxieties about your partner cheating on you, your partner just suddenly dying. And you're also saying that she's not addressing the issue at hand here, which she clearly is. She is working on herself and aligning herself so that if she chooses to get into another relationship, it's what she wants, not what she thinks she needs and or wants. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make and it's not a bad one. People can get into relationships for various reasons. They may want validation. They may be looking for something to fill the void. And you know, while I don't agree with it, once again, it is a reality. So you basically left a perfectly good relationship and your significant other broken because you were so self-conscious that something was coming up before you even saw any evidence as to what you were worried about even happening. If you didn't see a behavioral change nor educated suspicions, by the way, I hate these kind of words, educated suspicions. What? You don't need to be educated in having any suspicions. Are you dumb? Or context clues lead to a bigger issue. Just say you left because you wanted to try someone else out and end up breaking their heart too. I think if anything, that is a very uneducated response. Sweetheart, when you see that there is something wrong within your relationship that just can't be fixed, no words, no actions, nothing, nothing can be done to salvage what is there because it's truly just not meant to be between you two. What do you do? Do you stay in a continuous cycle of being unhappy every single day, waking up dreadful with this person who is supposed to be in a relationship with somebody that loves them truly, trapping not only yourself in this relationship, but another person too, is like I said, unfair? Or do you break it off amicably and work on yourself for the greater future? This is why America's divorce rate is so high because a lot of people think that they have to stay in a relationship that is unhappy, that is abusive, that is emotionally draining, that is toxic. And then they get married to these people and then they stay in these unhappy marriages and realize that they just cannot do this forever and then the divorce happens. And it's like, you could have saved yourself all that time, all that money, just by realizing when it's the end. Humans are so diverse, you know, there are humans that meet somebody in high school and they marry their high school sweetheart. You have humans who date a few people to see what they do and don't like. You have humans who end up not dating anybody because it's just not what they want. You have so many different circumstances at play here. It's not really fair to be accusing 
this lady of cheating on her partner all because she left a fine relationship. There are varying factors as to why people do this and it's a very real thing. Not everything is cheating. Not everyone is cheating on their partner. I think that the projection is real in situations like these because what you're basically telling someone is that they need to stay in a relationship that they are unhappy in. That they need to stay with a person who is just not who they thought they were at the beginning. That you need to stay in a toxic relationship. That you like, it's just, it's so f wild to me. And all I'm going to say here right now is that you have free will as a person. If you don't want to be with somebody, if you don't want to be with somebody and everything is going fine, you have every right to break it off. You don't have to be with somebody just because other people tell you you have to. When I see stuff like this, especially when it comes to relationships, I'm like, did I get into the wrong field? Did, did I get into the wrong field? Do I need to be some like therapist or something? Because I swear, I'd be doing this for free. <laughs> So with all of that being said, my lovelies, have you been through a similar situation before? I feel like if somebody had told me as a teenager that I needed to stay in an abusive relationship, I, yeah, probably would have if I didn't have people around me who were telling me what was wrong, who were telling me, hey, this is not cool. This could end up really Thank you so much for your time today, everybody. I hope to see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.